Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be making a makeup tutorial of how I got this look. Um, it's my first makeup tutorial, so I hope you guys like it. I tried my best on it. So if you want to know how I created this look right here, then just keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. So stay for the video. Okay, so we're going to start with some tape just to outline the box. But as you can see here, I struggled so much to tape it on because it's double-sided tape. So it just kept sticking to me. But at the end, I got the square shape that I wanted. And I went in with a white concealer, as you guys can see here. And then I just used this white concealer and a sponge. And I just sponged it all over the area that I wanted to cover, which was inside the box so make sure that you get all the little crevices as you can see here I'm trying to get all the crevices and I'm pre pressing down on the tape to make sure it doesn't go underneath the tape because my tape was being a little bit difficult but make sure to get every little crevice as much as you can and just try to make it like flawless like Here, I'm just going to be going in with a foundation brush to smooth out the area to make sure there's no, like, imprints from the sponge that I was using. So just make sure to smooth it all out. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Air Sprung powder to just put powder all over it to set in the concealer so it doesn't move around so it's not creasing as much but this concealer sucked a little bit so it did crease right under my eyes but make sure to get all of the areas as possible so after that is done here I am going to attempt to take off the tape to make sure I was just really scared that it wasn't going to come out as I wanted. So here's how it looked. And at first I thought it looked really good. But as I looked at it more, I didn't really like the line on the outside. I'm going to show you guys right now in a minute. Right there. I didn't really like how it looked. It was too short. So I decided to go back in with more tape to make it a little bit more wider. So I just put the tape along the side where I wanted to make it wider. And then I'm going in with two more pieces of tape just to make that straight line to even it out to make sure that I don't make my box even more longer. So I just put that underneath and on the top of the line as well to make sure that it is going to be straight and I don't mess it up. Now I'm going to be going in with this little sponge to fill in the area that I have now created to make it wider as I said before. So here I'm just going to be putting in more of that concealer that I had. And I don't know where I got this concealer from. It's a kit. I'm just not really quite sure where it's from. But as you can see here, I'm trying to smooth out that line that you guys could see. It was very visible, so I decided to try to smooth it out so you couldn't tell that I messed up the first time. And now I'm going to be going in with more of that baking powder to set in the concealer to make sure that it's the same color as the one that we didn't mess up on. And now I'm just going to go in and take off the tape. I would say take it off slowly just in case you mess up something. So just take it off slowly and make sure it's what you want. You guys can see here I'm like dusting off any excess. And I still didn't really like it. So I went in again and I fixed it a little bit more. And then now I'm just brushing off all of the excess. 
Now I'm going to be going with the spoolie to take off any of the powder and concealer that was on my eyebrows. So just make sure you take all that off. Next I'm going to be using this Maybelline lipstick to do my eyebrows. And I'll show you guys the shade and all that. But I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with this lipstick to make them red, pinkish it looks on there. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that. So now I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm going to be starting with making a line at in the bottom of my eyebrow. I'm leaving the front kind of untouched for now. But I'm starting kind of in the middle all the way towards the end. Just drag that line across. And then I slowly start filling in little by little towards the front. Just to have less product in the front. I don't like it too, too much product in the front of my eyebrow. I like, like a fade look. So now you see me here filling in a little bit of the hair, it's kind of like stroking. I'm doing long strokes. Now you see me here filling in the back of my eyebrow, making a small arch, connecting it down, as you can see here. And then brought you guys a little bit in closer to see how much product I put in. Just build it up as much as you want to get as much pigment as you want in your eyebrow. So I was going to go in with this brown eyeliner, but I'm be showing you guys why I did not go with it. I didn't realize it didn't work and it was like so hard because I've had it in there and it's the first time I was going to use it so I just tossed it away because it doesn't work so I'm going in with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color chocolate and this is where it's going to get a little bit creative so you guys have to pay close attention. So now I'm going to be taking this small thin brush tip. To be making a line underneath of the box to make like it's gonna be as like a stand where you would put your brushes because the look we're going for is kind of like where you would paint so make the line as thick as you would like all across <music> Now we're going to be making a box in the center of the square so my nails kind of covering it right now but you're gonna make two straight lines going downward as you guys can see here as well you can make it as thick as you would like to so we're just gonna make a line and then we're just gonna make it into the box you have to do the line underneath as well So I did a little close up so you guys could see how it looked like. But now we're going to make a line that goes underneath the box. So it's just going to go like straight as you guys could see here. Don't make it too long. I accidentally made it too long the first time and had to go back and cut it down. So just make a straight line as straight as possible as you can. Now we're going to make two lines, like a triangle, so it's all connected. It's going to be the bottom of the art piece that we're doing. So just do it the way I'm showing you. I don't really know how to explain it all the way, but you just have to do two lines and they all have to be connected to the center of the bottom line. So here I'm be showing you how I measure to make sure the lines end at the same length so one's not taller I mean longer than the other so I just put my brush to line them up and 
I just do like a little mark to know exactly where the other one ended to make sure they're not uneven. Now on the top line, we're going to be making a rectangle. Here you see me measuring to make sure that it is going to be in the center just as we did on the bottom, but on the bottom we did a square. So the top is going to be more like a rectangle and here I'm just pointing out where the middle is. And then you're going to have to make a line underneath to close up the rectangle. You'll see here I'm just closing up the rectangle and make it as thick of a line as you would like. And now we're going to make two lines in the center of that rectangle going upwards. So you see me here just making the two lines. And they have to be right in the center of the rectangle that you have. And you're going to close it up as well. Make sure the lines are as straight as you can make them. I kind of messed up at the top but like you will see that I fixed it and it looks straight afterwards. Now I'm going in with this lip palette by Colourpop and Bretman and I'm going in with this brown shade to color in these areas that I'm pointing at, the triangle and the rectangle. I noticed this wasn't the brown that I wanted so I went in with a different palette to make the brown more brown. The other one was more like a reddish and I didn't really like it. So I went in with this palette and this was the correct brown that I wanted the whole time. And we're just going to be filling in those areas. On the top one, I just kind of did the outside, like the edges, so it wasn't too dark and it would seem like if it was really there, like three. Now I'm going to be taking that same brown shade and I'm going to be putting some underneath that line and above my eyebrow so you could give it like like a shade look like if it was in the sun and there was some shading going on so we're just gonna shade that in next I'm gonna be going in with this Huda palette and taking this white and I'm just gonna put it in in the center of all the brown to just lighten it up you guys will see here I just took that white and put it in the center just to make sure it's not too dark. Now I'm going to be going in with a Huda Beauty palette. I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. And I'm going in with just one shade. It's this red shade right here. And I'm putting that all over my lid. I'm using only one color for this. So just put it all over and blend it out. And I just show you guys how it should look like blended. And I'm going to take that same shade that I showed you guys and just put it underneath just to give it a little bit more definition. And yes, through a lot of these, I am singing because I was listening to music. But I'm putting in a glitter shade in here. And it's also from the Huda Beauty palette. And I'll show you guys in a minute which one I used. And I did drop the Huda Beauty palette on the floor. And I thought I cracked it, but I didn't. So I went in with this shade right here. These two, I just mixed them up and put it in the inner corner. Put as much as you like. These lashes, I got them off of Wish, so I don't really know. I'll try to insert like a picture if I can to see where I got them from. But here's how it looks. And I'm going to do the other eye. This is the palette that I used, and I'm going in with these two colors. Just something not too much because our other eye already has a lot going on. And I'm going to start off at the outer corner of your eye. And gonna be like in the crease I like starting with the crease and then slowly blending it outwards towards the eyebrow and 
And then next, I'm adding some of this color to add a little bit more definition into the eye. So it's just not one simple color. I didn't really like the way it looked. So I just wanted to put more definition into the outer corner of my eye. And I did add a little bit of brown, the brown that we used to color in. So I did put a little bit more brown, but that is totally up to you. Now I'm going to be going in with this palette that I used to create that look. And I'm going to put that shade that I just showed you guys in the inner corner of my eye because I do like a little bit of pop and I wanted to match it a little bit with the other eye that we made. So just put as much as you would like. Now I'm going to put eyelashes off camera. So, And now we're going to be putting on this highlighter. I couldn't find the name of it, but it was like right in the front. And I just kind of gave up. I'm just showing you guys what it is. It was in the color champagne. And I'm going to be putting this literally everywhere. On my nose. On my cheeks, on my chin, on my brow bone. I literally put highlighter highlighter everywhere. And I'm going in with this MAC fix it setting spray and it has some like pink sparkles to it which I really like so I'm just gonna spray that all over my face I'm going in with this Fenty Beauty lip gloss it's the pink one that she just came out with I didn't know what other lipstick to put on so I just went in with that one and that literally completes our look. Hope you guys really liked it. It took me a while. Okay, so I'm just gonna end the video here. I'm in my bathroom, so it's kind of echoey in here. But I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's my first time doing a tutorial. So I hope you guys like it. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. And wait for our next week's video. Peace. Yeah, do you guys see this?